Now the market, though, should not panic, at least according to my next guest, who says a U.S. default won't happen because it would make Lehman Brothers look like a pimple on an elephant's behind. <laughs> Those sound like the words of Todd Harrison, and indeed they are. He is the founder and CEO of Minionville Media. He's here on set to explain why yesterday's sell-off shouldn't have happened and also, let's point out, it could have been much worse. Todd, yes. thanks for joining us. Uh, why do you think it shouldn't have happened, and where do you think the markets well, are positioned no, now? Not, we, should, we should point out that you're, you're really a trader. I mean, Minionville yeah. is the company you started mm -hmm. to educate people about the markets, mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. the finance, but yep. you are a trader at heart. Yes, I am, I'm a trader at heart. Uh, I find it interesting that you pulled the elephant quote out of all, out of all the things that we're talked about in, in the world right now. Uh, but I look at it, what, what's going on right now, very much as an extension, as an evolution, as a, as a cumulative effect. Uh, in 2008, we talked about on Minionville how the crisis was evolving from the financial to the economic uh, to the social social sphere, and I think that's now infecting the political spectrum as well. Uh, I don't think we see a default. Uh, I think that's just cataclysmic across the board, but I do think we're going to get a downgrade, uh, and I think that's what's being priced in the market the last couple of days. I, don't say, I didn't say that the market should not have gone down. I'm saying it's pricing in as a forward-looking discounting mechanism you, that a downgrade will so be So when do you think the downgrade does come then? Well, that's, what, that's the, the actual the trick to the trade is sequencing, right? Because we think, there's a, we think there's going to be a resolution on the debt ceiling at some level. We think there's going to be a downgrade. Uh, uh, and then we have obviously what's going on in Europe as kind of that uh, black swan that's dancing. By the over way, S&P has kind of hinted that the yeah. downgrade is going to come early in the 90-day period that they set just about yeah. 15 days ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, Well, there were a few things in play. For, uh, for number one, in the mainstay ec uh, equity markets, in the S&P and the Na uh, NASDAQ, both of those indexes were just about to break out technically. Uh, that would work a lot higher. So I think a lot of folks tried to get in front of that move. They got spanked on it yesterday. But I do think we're pricing in a, a downgrade uh, rather than a, a default. I don't think that's going to happen. When we were on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, Matt and I both spend pretty much part of our day every day now down there. People are saying we're aggravated by this debt deadlock, but really what we're worried about is a double dip recession and that durable goods orders missed yesterday seem to confirm in a lot of people's mm -hmm. minds this is actually something worth talking about. Mm -hmm. I take it that's not your point of view since you're looking for a stock market rally. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking for a rally in the context of a, of a secular bear market. I've been bearish for a long time. I was a little too bearish this past year. But if you look at the S&P over the last 10, 11 years, we're lower than we were then, and the dollar's down 40 percent. So, you know, somebody called me a bear yesterday as if it was an insult. And I said, well, let's look back at the last 10 years. That's not necessarily a bad thing if you position yourself. Uh, I do think that, uh, to your point, I think there's a lot of things going on in the market right now, and, we, and you need to take a step back uh, and assimilate what they are. Uh, but in a finance-based global economy, all of these are the same. And I think that the markets have morphed into a matter of national security in the eyes of a lot of politicians. Hey, Todd, thanks for joining us. I really recommend checking out Todd's site, Minionville. It's a great one.